What's happening guys, Edgy Outdoors here. Hey, we have a new knife for us to go over today. I'm not going to take a ton of time going over this, but it did just come in the mail directly from South Africa. Um, we have the Andre de Villiers Pocket Butcher. Um, this is a, a, a slip joint knife. Um, some people call it custom. Not sure if we're going to call this a custom or a semi-custom mid-tech type knife, but... Um, Certainly this has uh, quickly become one of my favorite knives that I have here, although I haven't carried it much, and um, we'll see how much I want to carry it. It's kind of on that borderline safe queen, even though it wasn't ridiculously expensive, but safe queen and uh, everyday carry type thing. Um, just to go over real quick, some of the specs on this bad boy. Um, overall length on this is 6.75 inches blade length is 2.8 inches uh, 2.875 inches to be specific um, with a two and a half inch cutting edge um, and you'll see as I, I'm gonna I'll zoom in here for you guys to kind of get a look at the blade it is a Warncliffe design blade um, you could see his beautiful little initials right here or his name um, again, he's from South Africa. Uh, the blade is um, D2 steel. Um, it's flat ground blade. Um, oh, well, you're going to see that here. Let's see if we can see. Camera doesn't like focusing on that, but it is a flat ground blade. Um, yeah, Andre de Villiers. Um, it is also a slip joint, so there's no locking mechanism. Um, they call this the thumb nick, um, very cool machined, um, blade that's in that, or nail nick, I guess they call it. Um, so those are kind of the specs. Um, weight, it is fairly heavy for what you'd think for something like this. Um, it is, um, oops, sorry for the camera. It's about 3.9 ounces. Um, we can actually do a look here. Yeah, so they claim it's 3.9 ounces. As you can see here, we're looking at about 4.2 ounces. So it's a, a meaty knife. Um, you know, if we compare this to, you know, kind of other knives that we've got here. I've got my son over here handing me knives that we can use. Go ahead and put that open for me. Hello. We've got the full-size Griptilian. Um, just to kind of put it into, they would give it something to reference. Or let's say the Mini Barrage as an example. Um, it's kind of got a very similar blade length as the Mini Barrage. Um, but obviously the Warncliffe design um, that it has. So Warncliffe um, is one of my favorite blade shapes. Um, not to be confused with a sheep's foot. Um, Warncliffe, you know, is uh, kind of characterized by the kind of a, a very pointy point and that slope that goes down to it as well as the flat edge on the bottom. Um, it's pretty nice. This blade has a nice sharpening nick which I'm sure will get used here by Edgy Knives um, to make sure we get it sharp. Um, the handle is made out of bone, um, and it's just, I mean, it's amazing. This um, The bolsters are stainless steel, so they're stainless steel bolsters. It's just a really pretty knife. You hold this bad boy in your hand, it feels good. Um, you know, it's, it's really nice in your hand, you know, for something that's, Semi-custom. I mean, it, it looks pretty. Wouldn't you agree? Pretty nice. Yeah. Although he's not a favorite fan of the Warncliffe. So, little history on the Warncliffe blade. I'm not sure how much you know about Warncliffe blades, um, you guys out there, but um, they're not quite sure actually where the Warncliffe um, blade came from. Some people claim it was from. Some people claim it was from. Um, you know, some princes or dukes or something like that, but uh, there's no known, it's, it's fairly old. The first known 
reference to the Warncliffe style blade goes back to 1822. A little bit of history for you. I did some looking up before we made the video, so uh, kind of interesting. A blade that goes back to 1822, a blade shape. Obviously, some of the other more like you know drop point and clip point blades are probably older, just from you know various knives back in the day, but still kind of a cool thing. Um, you know, this thing you'll actually see. This thing you can actually look in here, and I don't know if I can focus in on this or not, but you'll see. Let's see. Down in there, right by my thumb, you'll see it actually shows the year that this was produced, so it's 2016. Um, also, I was going to tell you about that. So, um, what do I kind of look at this as a use, the use for this knife? So, I could see this in everyday carry. Uh, Warncliffe is actually very good for office type stuff, opening boxes, letters stuff like that. Um, you know, you're probably also going to be able to see this um, used um, a little bit less as like a slicer with the flat blade. Um, you know, it doesn't really lend itself as much to slicing and stuff like that, even though they call it a butcher. Uh, it's not going to be a Skinner knife, but it'll be an everyday carry type knife. Um, Really, and, and it's a pocket knife, so that's kind of, you know, the slip joint. That's kind of what I would think, you know, is going to be the point of this type of product anyway. Um, some of the things I really like, again, blade shape, just kind of how well it's built, the feel in your hand. There's no pocket clip on this guy. Um, it did come with a nice little box um, that's got a foam insert on it, some stickers. Um, as well as it came with kind of a, uh, a neoprene or something like that uh, pouch. Um, so it was kind of, uh, kind of something to put in your pocket so that you could protect it. The bolsters are stainless steel. I am worried about putting these like in my pocket with keys or something like that. Um, so I'm afraid it's going to kind of scratch the bolsters. Um, I also, you know, this is D2 steel, which is not quite stainless steel it is somewhat corrosion resistance but it is something i'm gonna have to keep an eye on to make sure i don't get a patina on there um, i prefer not having patinas on my knives to be honest and so um anyway so the good blade shape um going back to kind of the things i don't like as much um you know there are some sharp edges you know that you'll find in various spots um, you know, I don't think this is a heavy use knife, be, knife being a slip joint or anything like that, but, um, you know, um, the other thing is I don't like, or I like, you know, some of my knives just to be able to sit on the couch and kind of flick them and flip them and close them and annoy the heck out of the, you know, the, the wife. Um, and with this, you know, being a friction folder that's, you know, thumb you know, it's not really a one hand open kind of thing. I'm afraid I'm going to slice the crap out of my hand. This thing did come razor sharp. So it is extremely sharp. Um, which is not polished edge. Um, so that's kind of the bad. It is heavy for what it is as a slip joint knife. Um, but, you know, overall it feels like an expensive knife when you're holding this knife. You realize this isn't a hundred dollar pocket knife this isn't a case knife you can feel the difference between this and you know say one of the say a case knife that would kind of fit into that as well so um anyway again this is the um you know the uh andre de villiers pocket butcher slip joint knife um i am very glad i bought this knife um, I think price on Blade HQ is about $270. Um, I think I paid like $5 less for that straight from, you know, Andre de Villiers. You know, when you order, and you can't get it on Blade, Blade HQ or Knifeworks or anything like that right now. They're sold out. He doesn't make many of the things that he does make. I do encourage you to look at his Instagram and Facebook page um, as he comes out with those that aren't pocket butchers um, that have similar Warncliffe blade shapes as a flipper. They have a tactical version. Um, and if you're in the, you know, kind of in that market for something that looks a little bit different, that has some features that make it look and feel 
um, like a custom knife, I definitely recommend look checking out some of his stuff because he does have some stuff that is straight, full blown custom. So anyway, once again, uh, you know, check out um, our website edgyknives.com. Look at we do sharpening services, um, and we can do it basically for the type of edge you're looking for and need for your use. Um, if you have any comments, please put them below and, you know, please make sure you hit that subscribe button as we're getting this channel off the ground. I appreciate it, guys, and I hope you have a great week. Thanks. Bye.